Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Triumphant Thursday. I don't know about you, but it is a victorious day. We've made it through 31 days of August, and we thank God that we're here for it. But you know, the victory comes in knowing Jesus, and I'm so happy about that. Today, I want to invite you to look with me at Ephesians, the fifth chapter, verses one through six. A very powerful message that Paul writes to the church of Ephesus. Remember, this is a group of believers who find themselves needing to know how to live and how to honor God. So Paul writes them and he says, be imitators of God. Therefore, if you're going to imitate God, look for someone to be your model. Now, Paul steps up and he says that imitate God, but follow my pattern. Do what I do. I can remember when I was a child, I used to play this game that was called follow the leader. You know, you had to do whatever the leader did. If the leader skipped, you had to skip. If the leader decided to do a cartwheel, you had to do a cartwheel. You had to follow the leader. So Paul in this text begins to say, imitate God. And if you need a living example, I'll be it. Follow me. Do what I do. And he says, in doing so, let no one allow you to fall victim to all the sins of this life. He says, don't be guilty of foolish talk or foolish jesting. Don't tell bad jokes. Don't tell jokes that are derogatory. Don't tell jokes about certain ethnic groups. He tells them, don't be immoral. Don't be impure. Don't be greedy. Don't be persons who are like the idolaters of this world and idolaters of this world. Don't act like foolish people, but rather do what I am doing. I'm following the pattern of Christ. You know, in the world today, we need to have people who will give us a pattern to live by. People who will be the clear demonstration of walking in the power and the might of Almighty God. You know, whenever I read this passage, I ask myself the question, if everybody in the world was a Christian just like me, what kind of world would Christians be? You know, we need to ask ourselves, are we truly a good model for people to follow? Or are we just doing the best we can to hide our true lives from everyone. Well, Paul did not hide his true self. He lived with his people. He prayed with his people. He shared what he knew about the scripture with his people. And he says, because of that, I'm offering myself as a sacrifice to God. I'm sacrificing those things that don't please God because I want my sacrifice to God to be like it was in the Old Testament, to be a pleasing aroma that God will smell the beauty of holiness in my life. I hope that you and I can ask God to help us to live holy, dedicated and sanctified lives to him, that we will find ourselves being all, all that God has called us to be. I want to remind you, follow Christ and have someone that you know could be a good earthly model that you can learn to mimic your life after Christ as you share it with someone else. Please know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed and God has a great blessing in store for you in this year of 20 and 23. Expect it to be bigger and better than you ever thought it would be. And I'll talk with you again tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.